and gentlemen, and welcome to Skip E. Lowe Looks at Hollywood. We have with us tonight two of Hollywood's finest actresses. From General Hospital, Jeff Donnell. And from the Perry Mason Show, Miss Della Street herself, Miss Barbara Hale. And now, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. I love the way he says Della Street herself. Are you really Della Street yourself, Barbara Hale? Well, I don't think so. She's but Stella and I'm Stella. You are, you're Stella. Oh, <laughs> Jeff. This is Jeff Donnell. Absolutely. You two ladies been around Hollywood for a long time. And together. Really? Absolutely. Yes, together. Yeah. RKO, Columbia. Tell me. Which I well, was at Columbia first, and then I went to RKO. Uh, I was at RKO first, and then I went to Columbia. What was your first? Higher and Higher was your first film? Well, that was first your first one of. Uh, actually, I think I did the picture with uh, Frank Robert. Sinatra? No, yes, that was with Frank Sinatra. But that was your first. Mel Terme. No, I did a show before that. You did. West of the Pecos with Bob Mitchum. Didn't Isn't know that. that. I thought uh -huh. everybody said that Barbara Hale was in Higher and Higher, the first film she ever did. She played a debutante. Oh my yes. Oh. You were a model from Chicago, Illinois. Barbara. Barbara That's Hale, right, dear. Getting back to your career. Yes. First came to Hollywood. Yes. Right. That was your model, actress, from well, Rockford, Illinois, to Chicago. Our hometown. Our hometown. Skippy. Yes, I'm from Rockford too. Mm -hmm. I know that. you are. But tell me, Chicago, and then Hollywood. Right, dear. Did you ever study acting? I mean, how how did Barbara Hale get in the movies? Well, it was kind of a fluke, to be honest with you. I I really I wanted to be a commercial artist, uh -huh. and. Uh, and I had an opportunity to do some modeling to make a little money to help subsidize my living in Chicago. Right. And uh, through that, I had a chance to come out to Hollywood. To the West Coast. I see. Yes. And you met? That's where I met this one. <laughs> this is where you met? My love. And you met your lovely hu husband, actor, Bill, Bill Williams. Williams. Yes, absolutely. That was before me. He was a Western. Oh, come on. <laughs> Western. Western star, Bill Williams. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, he did a lot of pictures before that. And uh, the director that was supposed to direct it, Charles Vidor, uh, didn't show up, and so Mr. Cohen directed it. And I did a scene from Claudia. They f had found me in summer stock and sent me to uh, be uh, to New York for my test. And he draped a lot of pearls around my neck that he'd gotten from Josephine Johnson, the debutante of the year. Uh -huh. Can you imagine doing Claudia? And and, a, and the the boy was too short that they I worked with, so I had to take my shoes off. And anyway, I did the test, and the next day I went in to see it, and they said, oh, we've got to do something with her nose. Oh, she, she's got a, she has no fanny. That's terrible. <laughs> she has no bus. I thought, well, I just might as well go home, you know. I didn't expect anything anyway, so it was okay. And uh, I uh, went back, and that was in July, and two weeks later I, I received a letter saying, come to Hollywood, here's your contract. Uh -huh. So I wrote a letter back to Mr. Cohen, and I said, I'm pregnant. What will I do? Meaning, should I have the baby in Boston, where I was, you know, or should I come to Hollywood and have the baby? He sent me a wire back, have it. Have it? <laughs> Just have it. And he was always very, very nice to me, very nice to me, always very concerned. However, I do have a funny story about him. In, in New York, you know, he had a brother named Jack Cohen. Jack Cohen. Mm -hmm. And Jack did the financial and the... Uh, well, getting the money and the business end yes. of it in New York, and Harry did the pictures out here. Well, uh, this one, at one time, Jack and Harry were in his office together, and unhappily, because they didn't like each other. And uh, You're trying to tell me they didn't really They didn't get along really? at all. Okay. <laughs> no. That's a nice way to put it. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> and they're sitting there thinking, and Jack said to Harry, Harry, why don't we do a Bible story? And Harry said, a Bible story? For crying out loud, what do you want to do a Bible story for? Uh -huh. He said, you don't even know anything about the Bible. He said, well, they make money. He said, look, it's Foreign Legion makes money. Westerns, you've been doing Westerns. Uh -huh. They make money. Uh -huh. There's no, uh, n no back, you know, no, what do you call it? No, uh, they don't have to pay any money for it, in mm -hmm. other words, mm -hmm. you know? So he said, well, you could make money with it. And Harry said, Jack, what do you know about the Bible? You don't even know the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> Jack said, I do too, and uh -huh. he said, you do not, and Jack said, I do, and Harry said, I'll bet you $50 you don't know the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> that, that's Mr. Cohen. Yeah. And Jack Go said, ahead. yes, I do, and he bet $50, uh -huh. and two $50 bills are there. He said, okay, Harry said to Jack, let me hear you say it. 
and he put his little head up in the air, and Jack said, now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> you, you're kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> and, and Harry said, that's enough. I didn't know you knew it. Take them off. <laughs> That's gorgeous. <laughs> was he really a tough man, though? He wasn't like, to He me. wasn't tough? I can only judge people, you know, Did you meet your husband, then. Eldo Ray, your ex-husband, Eldo Ray, through Jack Cohn at, at uh, uh, Harry Columbia? Cohen? Did no. You, how did you meet Eldo Ray? You were married to Eldo Ray. Uh-huh. A fine and, actor. Um, I, he, we were, I was George Cukor's test girl. And the, he, test girl means you means test with everyone. When Catherine Hepburn yes. didn't come to yes. test with her boys, yes. her new, like dating pet. And in this one uh, of the marrying kind was Judy Holliday. Right. And they were both wonderful ladies, just wonderful. And I was just, and of course I adored Mr. Cukor. He was just a marvelous director. And uh, so he, he called me in this day and he said, now you're going to work with four gentlemen. One was Jack Lemon, uh -huh. which got him the test. And one was Richard so. Kiley. Uh -huh. One was Jack Carter and one was Aldo Ray. And I was, we were up in the dressing room and Mr. Cohn, we were waiting and waiting and waiting and no Aldo. Uh -huh. And I was getting madder and madder and madder. <laughs> and he finally sauntered in the door like he had all the time in the world. And by this time, I'm just furious for him to keep a man like Mr. Cukor waiting, waiting. you yes. know. He said, Danny said, hi, you know, in uh -huh. his voice like this and everything, I thought, oh, that nut. I sat down, and then I said, Aldo, don't you know enough to say excuse me, Mr. Cu Mr. Cukor, for being late? Uh-huh. What? Huh? What? You know, he, he just, he thought it was really funny. And I, I was so upset, and that's how I met Aldo. Aldo, and you fell in love with him. I was furious, no, I was so, mad. But you were mad. <laughs> oh, I didn't fall in love with him for quite a while. Oh, I was really? really mad. Robert Hale. Yes. Just got through doing the Perry Mason, finished with uh, a lovely English actress. What's right, Jean Simmons. Jean Simmons. Oh, what a, is a lovely great lady. lady. How uh, is she to work with? Oh, she's d just divine. She? Really, truly. Uh -huh. We had uh, wonderful, wonderful times on the set uh -huh. because actually there was a little <clears throat> hostility going on. Hostility? A like, little bit, a little like bit, what? a little jealousy, you know. There is jealousy on the set. Well, no, 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 not. No? This no, had to do with the script. Oh, really? Don't you see? I see. She was Perry's ex-lover. I see. And now you know Della would be yeah. upset with that, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. But it all turns out pretty well. You have to see the full picture uh -huh. in when order it, to find air, out the it, outcome. It airs, it airs when? It airs next Monday. It airs next Monday? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, February 23rd. Uh-huh. And uh, do what? How many years you've been on the Perry Mason show now? I mean, you all this my is... life. <laughs> <laughs> How many years has been? Uh, no, it's actually, been we started in '57. '57. And uh, worked until the middle of '66. It's been a very successful show. We were very fortunate. And uh -huh. It's played all over, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and keeps playing and playing and playing. You should see it in Japanese. <laughs> you, tell me something, Barbara Hill. You seem very happy right now. <laughs> I, You're I, married, I, you have lovely children. Right. And you have, we have a lovely, three beautiful children. Go ahead. And we have four gorgeous grandchildren. Uh huh. And you have a very talented son that's in the right. business. Billy. Billy. Bill Cat. That's right. Yes. And what is he doing right now? What's Bill doing? Well, uh, he just came back from a little ski trip, to be very honest uh -huh. with you. And he's leaving tomorrow to do the next Perry Mason show. I follow him by two days. So he has been doing a lot of Perry Mason shows. Though. Yes, he's done every one so far. And oh, yeah. then he uh -huh. will, will finish that in about a month and a half. And he will be home for three days. Then he leaves for Africa. Oh, I see. And he's going to do a picture over so in Africa. So you're busy in your life nowadays. Oh, yes. Last time I spoke oh, yes. to you, you had a hip. Something about your I hip. Did, that you're yeah. better. You're OK now. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. You look yeah. great. Feel good. Jeff did. Feel know. good, thanks to this one. What? She's been my mainstay. She you know? has? Yeah. We've been going together steady for years. <laughs> <laughs> What's new and exciting in your life right now? I mean, you're in General Hospital, I know. Every day you're doing I General Hospital? Do, no, no, not every day. No? No, it's just a perfect time for uh -huh. me because I just do enough so that I'm happy with it. And, you know, it, I, it's just great. It's just well, great. that's that's the way with uh, doing the Masons, too. Is it? Yeah. You're happy just, just doing... Because, you see... We're not working like on an everyday schedule, like yes. a series. It's good it's hard. heavens. We've, hard work. We've it's done that. difficult. You've done it. You paid your dues on that. Yeah. yeah. I've done you, it. And, yeah. and believe me, well, 
think of the hours when you were working with George? George, George Gobel. Gobel show. Yes, you played Ellis. You yeah. played his yeah. wife for many years. You were on that show for about five years? Four. Four? Four. That was a great show. Tell me about George Gobel. I What's... couldn't wait to get to work, and I hated to go home. He was just a <laughs> wonderful man. George he's Gobel. so much fun and just so great. Uh -huh. I can't tell you. He's just a funny, funny man. The only other man that <clears throat> I, I dig comedians. I, uh -huh. I'm very fond of comedians. I would love like to work with Tim Conway. I, I really like Tim Conway too, but I adored and loved George and still do. Uh huh. Yeah. You say you dig comics, but you don't go to the comedy store. I do. Store. You know. Tell me, do you go to the comedy store? No, I've never filled, been. I haven't got anybody filled, to take me. I mean, me. it's. Well, maybe I'll take you. <laughs> oh, that's Jeff, a deal. Believe me. I've never been. If you Jeff, ask him for his phone number now, Jeff, I believe I know me. what you're up I'm to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I gotta know, Mario Alonzo. You did a movie yeah. with yes. him. I want to uh, know. I loved him. Oh, I think I he was really, a beautiful voice. I really beautiful adored man. Mario. Was he? he was. Oh, I yes. thought so. Yeah, he was really a, a very, very nice man to me. I played Jimmy Whitmore's girlfriend. I'm always the girlfriend. I'm a supporting player, and uh, which is a wonderful, wonderful category Keeps to be you working in. Working all the time. How many you, films you have, have you done? You've done a I'm lot. Eight hundred thousand. <laughs> she has done a lot. Jeff Danell has yeah. been in yeah, I've a, done lot a lot of films. Of films. Yeah. About 64, I guess, and I don't know how many hundreds of TVs. Uh -huh. But Mario was just darling, and it was so sweet because his wife uh, would used to bring these huge picnic baskets full of all Italian food, so he and ate. garlic mm. would just, you know, just uh -huh. flow out of the dressing room. Uh -huh. But he was uh, he was loads of fun. He always was singing and happy, and it was fun. Robert Young, tell me, working with Robert Young in that wonderful movie. Oh, I just my adore goodness. that movie. Well, Robert Young is like one of our family because Bill did two pictures <coughs> with him. Right. And uh, I did three pictures with him. You did three? Yes, and one of the uh, Marcus Welby's. Uh huh. And he's just a delightful man. And I'm very thrilled. I think he's going to come back like the Masons. You think I so? hope. Oh, that's great. I hope. Uh -huh. I certainly hope so. Do you so. go to Rockford yet? Do you still go back home and see your lovely people back there? I can't <coughs> wait. I think I'm going to be able to go in about a month and a half. Yes. You are? Yes. Her super mother is here with her now. Uh -huh. her, she's got a wonderful, wild... Uh -huh. My uh, mom. Oh, she's <laughs> a funny lady. Jeff Dunnell, what are you holding in your lap there? I just oh. can't see. What is those two things Oh, there? I do hope you can get them on camera. <coughs> They've never been on camera. What are they? Are well, they this, is, oh, this is Barbara. <laughs> And this is Jeff. <laughs> now, Barbara and I did a tour for Columbia with two pictures we were in. Uh -huh. And we did 28 cities, and let's see, is that right, Barbara? In 27 Seven. days, from San Francisco Excuse to Bangor, Maine. 26 days? 26 days. And this is what we looked like at the end of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> they so were very pretty at one time. They're cute, they're cute. Well, and then Barbara gave them to me. And since then, oh, they're going to be so happy to be on television. <laughs> God, they've had them for many years. They're about 38 years old 30. now. Uh -huh. Four old things. Uh, lovely. You should give them to Jane Witters. You know, no, we not, don't no, do no, Jane no. Witters. No. The whole warehouse no, full of When I had, when I had my broken hip, you know, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Jeff said, sent a messenger with the flowers and the balloons and the two girls. Uh -huh. Only she had made crutches for this one. I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had crutches then. <laughs> I've had many gags. So now I think they're going to go to Denver uh -huh. so they can be in a Perry Mason. <laughs> You're leaving for Denver to do a, another Perry Mason. Yes, uh -huh. I, see. I leave in a couple of days. I see. You're a busy Isn't lady. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's nice. Jeff Dunnell, Hollywood. Originally, you're from where? I was born in a boys' reformatory in Maine. Really? Uh huh. And then I left it too and went to Maryland. Uh huh. And uh, my father was superintendent of another boys' reformatory there. And then mm -hmm. I graduated from high school in Towson, Maryland, and went to Boston to drama school. I wanted to be a. I wanted to teach children, children's play, direct children's plays. And then after that, and she'd be magnificent. Well, I think so too. I yes. would Wonder like that. Why not? She can still do it. Do it still. And, and then still I went to it. Yale drama school. You went to Yale Drummer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And uh, then I, I did summer stock, and Max Gordon and Max Arno saw me in a play, and, and that's when I went to New York, and Mr. Cohen tested me. Films, stage, prefer what? 
stage? Oh, I really, yeah, I did leads on the stage, and I really think there's nothing like the satisfaction you get out of an audience. That's an, everybody says that, but it's the truth. Everybody, but I haven't done it in years. Everybody says that. It terrifies me. It you does. Don't, you don't. Absolutely. As long as I've known her, she'd say, she's, let's do a play. She's never we done one. yet huh? to do a play. Never, Robert? Well, no. then I just get terrified. Mm. We're going to do Ladies in Retirement before you know now, it. I what do you think <laughs> about arsenic and old lace, honey? <laughs> I saw Barbara Hill's son sing, and he was wonderful on stage. He was at home. Oh, he, he, he was loves the theater. He's completely at home on stage. He loves the theater. And, yes, at theater, Los Angeles. Is, there, is it coming? Oh, I think. Did you, did you see the papers this morning? It had all kinds of theaters that have Wonderful. won awards and it's nominations. Yeah, it's just masculine. great. Marie Windsor, uh -huh. our mutual friend, is yes, up for it. a nomination. She's she a was darling wonderful in the bar. lady. Yes. Melrose Bar? Yes. Oh, yes. Did, yes. Did, yes. Did, Wonderful. Was but that she was, was she good? Yep, yep. Yeah. 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 So yeah. she we went to that. And of course, Lily Tomlin, I adore. And she, I, uh -huh. I'm happy she's up, you know. Uh -huh. So there is a lot of theater in Los Angeles now. There yeah, is lots of it. Yeah, lots of it. Why don't you teach? Acting for children. Why don't you? I don't know. I haven't gotten around to it. Susan Strasberg's teaching acting here in Los Angeles now. Oh. Uh, a lot of actors. Kim Stanley's here teaching. I why I doesn't? Have four uh, grand why does you not? You have three grandbabies. Jeff, two don't grand babies. Four. four. You have three four. Four. Yes, that's right. Do you have any right. really good coaches for teenage actresses or kids? Oh, actresses? I think there are a lot are there? more than you think. Here in Los Angeles? A lot of, I did teach for a while. Oh, you I did, did teach. Uh, I taught uh, teenagers. I taught teenagers. But you know, there's a heartbreaking I thing where... I ladies, too. Uh-huh. And she as a matter of fact, for a while. I taught her son for a little bit. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, but I... There's the heartbreak where you get somebody who wants so badly to do it, and they really don't, you don't think they have the talent. I just could not take the money from them. What makes you see they don't have it, uh, uh, Jeff? Could you tell me real quickly, uh, like, what, is there a certain... Th it's, it's, it isn't, it isn't charisma, it's a natural understanding, I think. I think you have to have something basically that that it's either a personality, because movies are certainly personality, yes, you know, yes, actors, are for, or they are talented, and mm -hmm. you either see that, I think, or you don't. I just couldn't take the money. Uh, I have been told that take the money, Jeff, because other people will if you don't. I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. And she really couldn't. No, And I in fact, I've watched her. And, no, uh, try, and she I ended see. up supporting uh -huh. too many young people, mm -hmm. I, just I from just a standpoint of, of, of helping. and. Looking back over your life, Robert. Yes, darling. Oh, I my did. Lord. <laughs> Looking back. Don't say that to yeah, me. I'm going to. I don't know. Do yes, you have I any regrets? Any regrets? Yeah. Do you have any? I have been so blessed. How could I have a regret, Skip? I don't know. I'm just asking you. No, uh, I really don't think so. I just, you know, Jeff, we've had... We've had good times. We've had a few very bad times, you know. But if, if you had just all sunshine and not a few clouds, right. how would you appreciate the sun? It sounds true. kind of silly, but uh, I, think, uh -huh. I think some of our sad times, as far as Jeff and I are concerned, has actually brought us closer together uh -huh. as friends. Mm -hmm. And I think, as far as our life is concerned, it makes us a stronger person. We completely support one another. We really do. I don't know what uh, we do without each other. You seem very happy. Do I'm fine. You're, are you content where you are right now in your life? I am. I really am. Barbara said that like the to? other day okay. to me. Mm -hmm. that she thought that I was, and I think I am too. Yeah, you seem very content, yeah. very happy, and very peaceful. Both of you ladies do. Yeah. You seem very happy and very... We're I lucky. Just, yeah, you're very lucky. You've been around Hollywood. You've had a good life. Have you been married how many times? Oh, no, 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 no. Now, don't ruin the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got that. You rat, you rat no. thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. not going to go to the comedy I store know. with you. <laughs> yes, I will. I'm just kidding. Do you have any children? I have two. One boy uh, in Tucson. He's the head of a, a private school there mm -hmm. who just just won all yeah. kinds. Yeah, he just I won all kinds of awards for his school, went to Washington to uh -huh. receive them. Uh -huh. And he's on the, on the National Board of Education for the Southwestern Private Schools. Mm -hmm. And I have a girl who's business manager in San Francisco for poor Shoddy. How nice. Very And nice. four grandchildren. Great. Working with Lucille Ball years ago. Uh, do you see any change today? Well, Tell when me. I worked with Lucy, uh, she, wa she had not, of course, done any of the television. 
She did movies. No, uh -huh. and she, of course her comedy wasn't as broad. We did The Fuller Brush Girl. Right. And we did Easy Living and with Sunny Tufts. Was and that, where did you do that? Was that RKO? RKO? Yeah, RKO. Yeah, RKO. Because yes. Lucy and Desi yes. were going together yeah. when I was first at RKO. Uh, Sunny Tufts was mm -hmm. there. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the RKO pictures was on last night, Walk Softly Stranger with Jim Oh, you're Cotton. kidding. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. And uh, so she wasn't the broad comedian. Yes. Then. She was funny. Yeah. Funny. Uh, and very, very ambitious, you know. Uh -huh. Nice, nice lady. Interest in square dancing and fun and, you yes. know, but she was all business. Larry Parks, oh. Jolson sang again, loved him. We were both Wonderful. very, very close very to Larry. Very close to Larry, Larry, yes. Larry and Betty, his wife. Betty Garrett, you lovely Betty lady. Garrett. Yeah, lovely it was a wonderful one-woman show. Oh. I saw it at the Westwood. Oh, Did you it? see that? Script? Oh, yes, I had great. to. I love her. I think she's a very talented I lady. I they do a special I saw her, that. and matter of fact, I she really was on do. the same show your son was on. Oh. <laughs> Betty Garrett was on that show, too. Oh, she sang. Oh, was she? Oh, I. You've got to get that video. I want she was to see that show. Betty sang that. Yes. She did a number. She oh, was wonderful. Really. But I must say, Barbara Hill. Yes, dear. RKL Studios. How many years were you on, under contract? I was there. How long was it? Six years. A long time. No, no. Uh, about five years. They loaned I you think. out to Columbia, though. You were. To no, Columbia. I went to Columbia. You went to Columbia. Mm -hmm. I, I went to Columbia we did the same to exact thing. the same thing. Exactly. We exactly. traded. Mm -hmm. Traded. Mm -hmm. I went to Dory Sharing. She went to Harry Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. They had stock players those days. Oh yes, yes. Rita Hayworth. I got to ask you. Tell me about it, ladies. You both met her. I'm Rita Hayworth. Rita, Rita you know. was very. Oh, she was so beautiful. She just so she beautiful. She was breathtaking. And she was very, very quiet in hairdressing and water. Yes, yeah, she was very shy. She was yeah. truly shy. Really? But you know, a few years ago, this is well, this is ten years ago now. I guess I was in a writer's home, and the telephone rang, and it was Rita calling him, mm -hmm. and he said, "Oh, a friend of yours from Columbia is here." She said, "Who?" And he said, "Jeff." And she said, "Oh, let me talk to her." And at that time, I was helping some people in wholesale gifts downtown. Uh -huh. And she said, well, what? she said on the phone, she said, hi, Jeff, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm downtown doing wholesale gifts with some <laughs> friends of mine. She said, my dear, weren't we all at Columbia? <laughs> <laughs> Where we all wholesale, you know. And I thought it was so funny because you didn't really expect Rita to come out with something like that. She's very sure. funny. Looking back in your careers at RKO and Hollywood, who are some of the most exciting directors you people worked with that you really enjoyed working with? Oh, my. Mm. Do you have any favorites? You like George Kukar is your favorite. Yeah, obviously. Yes. Do you know what? I don't think you really know it. I tested for Born Yesterday. You did. Ms. Max Arno put a blonde wig on me. I tested for Born Yesterday, and Mr. Kukor was the director. Oh, that's wonderful. Which I, I was the that. greatest thrill of my really? life, yes. I never knew it was such fun uh, to be a blonde. Uh, <laughs> or to be a woman, or to be a woman, because uh, he really knew how to handle women. Oh, he was wonderful. He did? Yeah. Yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah. yes, he said just the right. And then he would turn around and be, say, the worst kind of words to a man if he thought that would get through to a man. Uh -huh. Every four-letter word in the book to a man if he knew that was the way you got through to this man. He was a man. man. He was a man, yes. You know? Yes, I see. But to a the, woman, to the man. he treated a lady. Oh, yes, and got right. And he always would whisper his directions. He would never, you know, some directors yell and scream and tell you, what, oh, no, you did it wrong. He'd always be very Catherine quiet. Catherine Hepburn. Do you think that was her favorite, George Kruger? Oh, I bet. Oh. I bet they're without a doubt. Close. They're very good friends. Yes, I bet. I don't know. Yeah. Spencer Tracy. Ladies, did you ever meet him? No. No, never? unfortunately. No, we didn't. No. Yes. I, I, I never met Catherine Hepburn. Never met Catherine Hepburn? My dream, just yeah. to meet you that have lady. Met, uh, have Jeff? you met uh -huh. Jeff? Uh-huh. I, uh, that's one thing I've always How was your incident meeting her? What was it? We were, uh, well, of course, Aldo did a picture with her. Right. Aldo. Pat and Mike. Pat and uh, Mike. Aldo Ray did, yes. yes. And uh, then we flew from New York to Los Angeles on yes. a plane trip, and so we had the whole trip to talk, and she's a nice. really nice lady. She lives in New York now, doesn't she? She's yes. very quiet, yeah. very private. That's well, the way uh, gee, I would be too if I were her age, wouldn't you? <laughs> her age? How, is it what, how old is she? I don't know. I don't... I think so. Hollywood has changed, ladies? Dynamite. Has Hollywood changed a lot? Oh, yes. I think so. Good or bad? I want to know. Good or bad? Barbara well, Hill, I tell Jeff you, if, if we had a bottle in a dressing room at Columbia, you didn't stay there very long. You were out the door. It was found, and you were out. Wasn't that true? If you had you're talking about you're talking drinking about the morals. authority yeah. Yeah. and morals. Uh -huh. mm. Morals. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Today? There was... There was uh, complete leadership, 
Uh, and you were scared of... Uh, and I, compare, I was comparing it to talking to somebody yesterday, and I think it was kind of like being on campus. Mm -hmm. but you to me, you to me, to be and stars. you had You're the dean. To be stars. There aren't even places to be groomed to nowadays. See, Barbara Hale came from Chicago as a model. They groomed you to become a star. Yes, they groomed it is. You. It is true. And they groomed Jeff Tennell as stars. And That's, they led they don't you. Have that and today. they they led you. And when you were told, when you were given a direction, yes, you followed it. You darn well did it. You did it. You did it. Mm -hmm. Or you didn't get paid. <laughs> and when you say to be there at one, they say to be there at one.